I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood in human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathe in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans and I've seen its muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I've known rivers, ancient dusky rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. Where do I begin? How do I find my way home? How do I understand a language I have never been taught? Battered and bruised, but never broken. Jesus and his crown of thorns to bear the sins of man. For the spirit is real and it dwells within me. I have no fear of you ever leaving me. Lord, what will you have me do? I stand here today to bless the ground that my ancestors stood on. Like sheep to the slaughter, their blood, sweat, and tears, the ground where they stood and cried, I stand in this brokenness. I am calling your name. My studio is in the heart of downtown Lexington, Kentucky. It overlooks the largest auction block for the enslaved, west of the Alleghenies. The project began November 9th, 2016. I had spent a good part of the night before talking with my daughter about America. The next day, the daughter of another mother came up to my studio to talk about America. How could we shift the spirit of the country? I've spent my life as an artist and believe in the muscular and sacred power of art. As I listened to this daughter, I looked out the window over her shoulder. As clear as day, I had a vision of an African mother and child appearing and disappearing. I told her what I saw. She brought her little boy to the studio. The project began with the mother and child. That vision quickly became a broader, deeper, bigger portrait of the human family. There are so many stories we could tell you about the making of the project. Photographer Patrick Mitchell and I, the day before the photo shoot, trying to decide how we would make the women look timeless, how we came up with the idea of shawls, and how in the photo shoot, everyone ended up wearing a shawl, a protection from what we were asking them to conjure, a shelter. Contemporary African Americans became a living embodiment of those who had come before them. From this photo shoot were born 21 ancestor spirit portraits. Initially installed as translucent tapestries and windows of public spaces, they create a visual for an invisible history. Memorial, guardian, unnamed, unknown, powerful, and holy. Through longitude and latitude embodied into the images, the project is a geography and history lesson. But in the end, it is a spirit project, an iconography of beauty, dignity, and grace in historically significant public space. The project is a synthesis of what is known and what will never be known, what is lost forever. This combination acts to revoke a mythology created to keep a broken citizenship in place. Hi, my name is Patrick Mitchell. I'm the photographer with I Was Here. And now when I was approached for the project with the idea that ancestral spirit images would be surrounding the courthouse on Cheapside where people were bought and sold, it was phenomenal. And I just knew it was going to be a healing to souls who were bought and sold, who lived through that trauma and who know about it today. I Was Here gives us an opportunity to share our history in an honest and poignant way. 
and to allow us to join with fellow citizens, our guests, even strangers, in a way that unites us through a shared citizenship. The presence of these ancestor spirit portraits has empowered individuals to find a voice that brings the wound created from slavery and centuries of inequity into the public eye in a new way. The beauty and spirit of I Was Here provides a pathway to a conscious understanding of the responsibility to right the wrongs of our past. Our voices together bring hope that there is a way to come together as a community and as a country. Today, we're in the midst of a national reckoning of our nation's history of systemic white supremacy. Within this healing process, rather than relegating the experiences of enslaved Africans to the margins of history, as we've done for the past 400 years, we must place them front and center. These ancestral spirit portraits provide us as Americans an opportunity to lift this veil of invisibility to honor the complexity of our nation's history and to transform the very heart and soul of our nation. Many people ask, what do architects do? Part of what we do is to educate our clients and communities about how the design of our built environment can positively impact our lives. The I Was Here project starts the conversation on the topic of the built environment and the role that this our environment has had in our history. The I Was Here project starts the conversation on the topic of the built environment and the role our built environment has in our history. We have developed an augmented reality experience of the ancestor spirit images and the music to allow one to reflect on what role our buildings have played in the days of slavery and post-slavery. This is our history and we all need to experience this. I Was Here is a visual manifestation of humanity. Our very citizenship and how we share it is contingent upon our ability to see one another. It is a window of opportunity to focus on the spirit of a nation that connects us. A vision of America can be seen when children of different races play together. It is the same spirit that walked along the Trail of Tears. It is the same spirit that was sold on auction blocks. It is the same spirit that I was here represents when you can see yourself in your fellow citizens who may not look like you or have your past. But our citizenship, our future, is ours to share. Make a wish on me, America. I'm a twinkling star. You can make a wish on me, America. America, you tried to destroy the ground where I could grow and prosper and conjure on my own. I was here. Here I am out of nothing, conjured up out of nothing. I want the whole world to see. My twinkling star is shining brighter than ever. Make a wish on me, America. Protect me from the evil that tries to extinguish my light. See me shine. America, you tried to destroy the very essence that makes me who I am. But here I am out of nothing. I was here. Make a wish on me, America. The heat of a forest fire creates a condition. There are certain seeds which can only be triggered by extreme heat to break open and grow. In today's conditions, at this time in our world and in our country, I was here is a seed opening. <laughs> 